Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, and Wrestling Figs. We're back at Toy Fair 2020, we're and back. I'm we're back, and I'm having what I'd like to call a fireside chat with Mr. Jeremy Padauer of Jazzwares and Wicked Cool Toys. Jeremy, how are you? That's right. Look, we call it a fireside chat because we always feel so warm when we're around each other, That's right? What I the heat is up. It's hot in this area because of how much fun we're having with this great brand, AEW. Truly one of the best things that we've ever had the opportunity to do. I don't think you can get any toastier than AEW right now after this huge reveal that we've had. There's, we've seen so many things, so many figures. Toasty hot. Toasty. Anybody know that one? No, no, no. no look. We'll skip it. It may, it may be something that I have to look up on the internet. It might be. Hopefully yeah. in the comments they'll explain it to you. So. Please do. Thank you. Uh, so obviously, welcome back. Uh, we've been, we've seen you over the years. What you, what we would like to call the Godfather of wrestling action figures. I think that's appropriate. So I would call myself the Godson. Uh, Thank you, son. Thank, thank you, son. You're welcome. You're very welcome, Godfather. You are all my children now. <laughs> He's still crazy. He's still crazy. He's old and crazy. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how this deal came about? Uh, how long has it been in the works? Like what you planned? How did you get uh, this kind of lightning in a bottle, what we're seeing with AEW? Well, listen, you know, when you're in the toy and collectible business, the key is that you always have to have your eye to what's next and what the possibilities are. So we look everywhere. We look at like social media opportunities, we look at YouTube, we look at TikTok, we look at everything. And wrestling is an area that I have a particular uh, enjoyment over. You know, is, you know, clearly we have things like Fortnite and Roblox and we have things like Coco Melon and Blippi, which are on social. Uh, but then I always keep my eyes open just in case, please, there's some major wrestling association. But we both know and everyone knows that are out there, all my children know, that wrestling is tough to execute on a, on, a, on a meaningful scale. Regionals are awesome, right? Indies are awesome, but it's a whole different ball game when you're looking to set up the distribution for a national network oriented show. And that's what I was, uh, that's what my mind and eyes were up, open to and looking for. And so when I heard, got the first wind that Tony Khan, Jacksonville Jaguars, was out there looking to create a new organization and association, my eyes were wide open and we went for it right away. We reached out literally the day of that we found out and um, we set that relationship up right away and communicated our passion for this industry and this business and the strength of our organization. As you know, my, my company, Wicked Cool Toys, was acquired by Jazzwares and now together we're one of the top 10 toy companies in the world. And uh, honestly, that's uh, that's part that why, because both companies has, have always had their nose to the grindstone looking for the next big thing. So you, as a wrestling fan, obviously, as you just explained, you see something like AEW, you see the level that they've reached so quickly. Yeah. Um, as a fan, what do you think of the AEW product so far? Uh, look, from a, from a content perspective, it's fantastic. I mean, I'll tell you, the, the EVPs, the, uh, the, the guys that, that are the everyday guys on the, on the entertainment, the culture, uh, the, the love that you see, the passion that you see, the fact that, that they brought like 10, 15 people here this week. I think it's 15 people here to come support our line at Toy Fair. Like, the passion that they have that they display from a content perspective is the same passion that they display from a support perspective. They've been one of the most magnificent licensing partners I've ever had. Um, I'm joyful, and uh, and I think that their passion comes out in content, hopefully the way our passion comes out in product. Sure, sure. Speed, jumping into the product, yeah. <clears throat> pardon me, quick, ju just real quick before we, I have some other questions, but sure. uh, what jumps out to me right away yes. uh, is the style of packaging here. We have a little bit of a, a tribute maybe or an homage to a, a previous line. I have no idea what you're talking about, please. Like no. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Have a look. Uh, shape, the hue, yeah. coloration, Maybe. location of character, mm -hmm. location of name, limited edition, the particular gold foiling, silver foiling. I absolutely have no idea what you're talking about. I will say this though, okay? It's gonna be the packaging is gonna be better when it's done. Yeah. This is this is almost done. Okay, okay? Um, but here's the deal: 
we know collectors, and we know that people like to collect and display, and we also know that they like to collect and play. And I'm not above having a figure fed myself. Occasionally I'll sneak off, and uh, frankly speaking, when I was 11, uh, right before 1984 when the LGNs came out, I used to use my G.I. Joes for my figure fed. I had all the wins loss records, I had everything all lined up. So when I look at wrestling figures, I see pieces of art, and I see packaging that needs to reflect that. And yeah, we, we have a particular love and affinity to a certain style of packaging that's very collector friendly. But I'm hoping that you also get to and bust one open and play with it. Because uh, the world needs more figure feds, the world needs more active play. And I don't care how old you are, it doesn't matter, honestly. I'm a grown man, I have a business, I have business partners, and they know I play with toys. And you know what, it's cool, it's totally cool. Something about letting them breathe really uh, yeah, let makes it breathe. fun. Let them breathe, so. scratch that itch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wink. Um, so we know right now that Ringside Collectibles and Walmart are exclusive partners uh, in carrying the AEW product. Uh, we know that on the Ringside Collectibles side. Can you explain uh, to everyone out there why you chose us as an exclusive partner and what that really means for the line? Well, I, I never actually chose Ringside Collectibles as a partner. Um, we're announcing today that Ringside is no longer a partner. In fact, we've cut them, um, and now we're just... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Did you not know this? Here. I'm going home. Okay. So I'm going to finish this interview myself. Um, Tom wasn't fully aware today that we cut the relationship with Ringside Collectibles over a very unfortunate event that unfolded in our booth that involved, well, I'll just say it, tomato soup and Chinese New Year. And I don't know why it got to that, but I'm just kidding, Tom. Come back. You're part of the program. Thank you. I was pretty scared. I, I know. Scared. Don't be scared. I won't. Please. I'll try not to. There's, listen, I have worked with Ringside Collectibles, and I've been thrilled to work with Ringside Collectibles for, gosh, almost uh, tw like 17, 18 years, yeah, yeah. okay? And from day one, when we were setting up the, the opportunity to work together, um, at the, back in the day, it was just Jonathan before Trevor came in. And it was, Jonathan, you got a choice to make. Do you want to be a college student and actually have a life of your own, or do you want to be a slave for the rest of your life to action figures and accept the fact that we're gonna do a few exclusives per year with you? And he said, Jeremy, who the hell are you? And I said, oh, I should introduce myself. I'm working at the time for another company anyways. It all started that way. And he, he chose to go down this path. And uh, I will tell you, as long as I'm in this business, I'm thrilled and honored to work with the team at Ringside uh, what an amazing team that is. Awesome. More passion, and, and to be completely uh, joke-free for a moment here, mm -hmm. unusual joke stoppage. Um, I gotta tell you that when I started in the wrestling figure business, my objective was to find the most collector-friendly area, to find the place where the fans are, because collectors mean everything. And uh, at the time, it was wrestling figs and ringside collectibles. And I saw it, I think there were like 5,000 people on the boards or something like that. Uh, maybe it was a little more or less, it doesn't matter. The point is, it was not a big community, but it was the biggest community in wrestling figs. And I uh, immediately had to know who was involved with that. And when we jumped in on it, dude, it was the best thing that, that I could have ever done uh, from a brand management perspective. And I just want anybody out there that's ever got the opportunity to manage brands the, to know that the key in the heart and soul of the community is in the collector community. Any brand that you could think of that actually has a few years behind it, the collector community is everything. Definitely. I've stolen your microphone. Yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna hand it back to you. I would also I, like I to say that Mattel has done quite a nice job. And I, I wanna call that out because I, listen, when I, had the, when I lost uh, WWE 10 years ago, I was uh, not happy about it. And, uh, but I'm happy to see that they've done a beautiful job with the figures over the years. So, Jeremy, looking at some of these figures, how do you feel like they turned out? Looking at the detail, looking at what we have available, some of the accessories you've seen, uh, how are you feeling about the initial output of these? Listen, I feel, I feel good. I think that we uh, are living up to present day standards and actually breaking current standards on what this price point should be providing. 
from a uh, sculpt, deco, soft goods, packaging, understanding the collector community, understanding doing limited editions. I know some of you are going to like that, some of you are going to hate it. But everybody always talked about it. So that's the key. We want to keep you talking, we want to keep you interested, keep you excited. We got to do those things. Sorry. But there's going to be things out there that you have to chase. And you know what? It's going to make the entire collection more valuable in the secondary market. It's going to make people more interested. It's going to take people outside of traditional collectibles into our world because that's what keeps us alive, people. And here's the thing. If you've ever wondered why lines die, it's because they don't cater to secondary market value because they don't cater to collectability. So we're going to do everything we can to keep this alive as long as we can. And I think it could be alive forever at retail. But it's going to take us doing things that are very collector focused and uh, sculpt, deco, soft goods, all that stuff plays into plays a role into it for sure. There's only really one way to get super connected on that type of information. And of course, it's being on the Wrestling Figs message boards. Are you going to be making a triumphant return there? Well, interesting you should ask that. Because recently, I checked to see if my old uh, ID was still viable. And um, what I found out was it is. And therefore, I will do Q&As for sure. But also, you got Greg Mitchell and you got Magic Olmos. Uh, so you got more than me. And I hope that you utilize it. Because, I mean, for me, what I can do most of the time is answer questions on the bigger macro level about what's going on in the industry. and. Uh, but I am absolutely involved in the day-to-day, -day. Um, but I, I want, I, it's time for another generation, too, to step up and, and be deeply involved, because you can't have people stick around too long, man. I'm becoming the old guy, and you know what? I started a business, but here's the deal. I'm going to make a commitment to you, okay? I don't care what else I'm doing. I'm still going to be engaged in the community, no matter what. I'm in. It's like when you leave and come back. There's words for it, nostalgic and iconic, and those are very popular right now, so you're allowed to step away and rejoin, I'd say. Listen, I, I can't believe anybody remembers me. I mean, like, as much as I'm just kind of like goofing around and, and a lot of what I'm saying is serious, but I'm always kind of being a goofy guy, uh, I am so thankful that, that people remember me. I mean, because most of the stuff we do is anonymous in life, and frankly speaking, even in the action figure business and even in the toy business, we have brands that are meaningful and uh, the more we can feel like we're part of something and the more people actually embrace the fact we're part of something, it just, it's special, you know? We, we don't get to be in front of the camera all the time and it's really special. So thank you for remembering me and of course it's my pleasure and honor to be a part of this community. Certainly, happy to have you back. Thank you, thank you. And? 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 Or and? And? D? And um, I don't know if I'm going to do Jeremy.com, but I'll probably just be on my Instagram. Okay. So please join me as well. And don't worry, uh, ringside, I'm not going to scoop you on everything. <laughs> How dare you look at me like that? I can see the stairs, daggers coming at me from all over the place. Uh, not from me. It's all right. Not from you. Yeah, don't worry. But, uh, you, can, you can do it as early as you want, as far as I'm concerned. But if, you're, I'm if you are OG... You do remember that you know we used to use every method possible to reach out to the collectors, including websites that I owned and stuff like that. <laughs> so, Jeremy.com, man. Uh. But uh, don't worry. It's, I think there's like a goldfish on that website now. It doesn't, it's nothing. But Instagram, follow me. It's cool. We'll, we'll chill. We'll talk. Where do, you, where do you see the AEW toy line going in the future? Tom. Tom. Jeremy. Tell you something. AEW as a toy line is going to be a meaningful, consistent player at mass retail and in specialty and specifically in ringside collectibles. We are going to have, we're going to celebrate the entire breadth of the line. We're going to celebrate characters that are on the main roster. We're going to celebrate characters that are niche. We're going to do this absolutely the right way. And if I had my druthers, this would be going on for as many years as I was able to be involved with the other uh, organization. That sounds great. Obviously, we're glad to rejoin you on this. Uh, it's amazing to get here and talk to you again after all these years. Uh, I know it's been so long. Um, yeah, awesome. And just having this happen, is it's kind of mind-blowing. So thank you. Uh, thanks for having us. Always, you guys take great care of uh, Wrestling Figs and uh, everyone on those boards. You take great care of Ringside Collectibles. It, it obviously means a lot to us, and yeah. hopefully I can represent everybody in saying that.
Thank you. And uh, I'll say this to you. I said this to you for a long time now. Um, I'm. We're thrilled. This is an honor of a lifetime. I grew up watching regional wrestling. I grew up in Mississippi, Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, all over the South. And there was never a time in my life that I was more proud to be a part of anything. Um, honestly, the two brands that, that have meant the most to my career um, are wrestling brands and Pokemon. And uh, what a thrill it is to live out uh, my life with Time Pursuits. And I'd recommend anybody out there that has passions to follow them. Mr. Jeremy Padauer of Jazzwares and Wicked Cool Toys here for the AEW line. Jeremy, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, so uh, listen, Tom, there's one more thing that needs to be said that hasn't been said, and that is welcome back, dude. Like, I got to tell you, the one thing that I enjoyed as much as seeing myself occasionally on camera is seeing you. You have been exceptional over the years, and I know that you followed a lot of your own pursuits and passions, and I've watched it from afar. And dude, I'm proud of you and I'm glad to see you here. It's awesome to see you in the showroom, brother. This, this is why he's my godfather. You, <laughs> All right. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. Uh, thank, you. thank you for being back. Thank you. All right. Do more uh, openings and all that stuff on online, okay? I'll do what I can. All right. Thank you. <laughs>